from very beautiful country which is in Southeast Asia. First time I saw the advertisement about the uh, health on stage program, and I started to apply uh, for the program and accepted and here I am here in India in my room. I had a lot of prejudice about India. It's so easy to have prejudice about a country and a people and community. We are already in our group from different countries, so we all have different ideas. So the fact that we are multicultural already makes us aware that we have to really think carefully about how is it in India. The message of the Health of Stage program, it's uh, as I understood it, it's um, well we want to promote, we want to raise awareness about water issues, um, and um, one of the important messages is um, that the water is a scarce resource, and it's very important. And as the people who attended our um, show said, that water is um, more important than gold. So this program was special because of the structure of the program. It was very different in a way that uh, all volunteers were from different parts of the world and we all came together for the first week. We attended this training and then uh, we separated. And in the second phase we stayed with the different communities and now we're back again. We consider this program not just a program with friends but a program with family. I was nervous at first but because these are different people with different cultures and I don't know how to mingle with them at first. But then when I saw my fellow Haitians and the other Europeans during those training phase, I felt like we have a connection already. <laughs> Health on stage. It looks like two very, very different areas. Health, which is very clinical, technical, it's about doctors and medicines and stage which is about acting, theatre. And at the same time, you follow, you lead your parents. Did you get it? At a deeper level, they do come together. The strength of this program is that using a form like forum, which is again empowering, which is not uh, uh, indoctrinating a certain practice or saying this is what you should do. It's about actually getting people to look for options on their own and then young people. So health on stage actually uh, I think drives home a deeper message than can be perceived at the superficial level. It's about actually empowering the community to see its choices, the interconnection between different areas and actually being able to express it creatively. It's the first step that somebody took towards this method to apply form theater, especially concerning water-related diseases. But generally, in these villages, it's the first time that somebody ever showed them this technique.
the main thing when we do social mapping, for example, in the village is that I, I try not to behave like someone else, so not taking pictures all the time and not taking distance for the, from the people, but just greet everybody and try to talk with them, at least always through a translation. So really be on a social and communicable level. The thing I really want to integrate myself in the community, I want to be like the local people. I want to dress like them and to, to speak like them. That's why me and my, one of my colleagues, Ali, always try to learn Canada language because it's the only way for us to fully connect with the people. Canada and Gotela, Salpa Salpa Chica Chica, Ile Ama Sari Beki Beko Niro Beko uh, Tata Tangachi Aka Yena 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 Iniru Chinegila Apa Ama Nani Nino Pretty Sutene Okay, I forgot Tanya Vada. <laughs> Usually I've been volunteering with people I know well. Um, or ask people that speak the same language really easily. So this has been really different for me because it's been working with people who don't always um, speak the same language. It's been quite hard to communicate. That's the basic idea about international volunteering, that um, people from different countries and different cultures also, they come together and they work as a team because this is helping the members of the team to overcome their barriers concerning other nationalities and other cultures and make them more friendly. So the idea of international volunteering is exactly this. I think the image is important if I don't understand each other by the communication. So. Um, I played mosquito. I just went and just start biting people. Today, someone is leading. The next day, another person is leading. So it's a very good collaboration that is going on. What can happen when you bring in people from different uh, cultural backgrounds and work together as a team? So I think for me, that's the biggest thing that I want to bring back when I go home. The thing that I did is that I have not done yet in my life is to perform in the street. If we call, mobilize the people with drums, people, oh, something is there doing something with the, some sound is coming over there, so we have to go there, we, have, we can see what they are doing. The way we have uh, mobilized the people, it's really unique. I'm trying to break the barrier because there's always a barrier and especially in tribes everybody's more shy. They go back, they're afraid, maybe you've seen it now. You should go closer to them, you don't expect them to come. A traditional costume of Indian women. Today I wear this because of my um, uh, characters in the performance, like an uh, Indian woman. The feeling when you have the reaction from the audience is really like, wow, you want to contribute more, want to perform more for the audience. Natka Mugud Mele, Janabundu, Tama, Samasigalia, Pariagal Nehiltare, Pariagalana, Tamajana Nehilodrinda, 
ಜನಕ್ಕೆ ಹತ್ರ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಇವಾಗ ನಾವು ಯಾರೋ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆಗೆ ಪರಿಹಾರ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಆದರೆ ಅವ್ರ ಜನನೇ ಬಂದು ಮಾತಾಡಿದಾಗ ಪರಿಹಾರ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗ ಜನ ಅದನ್ನು ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ತೊಗೊಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಅದರಿಂದ ಫೋರಂ ಥಿಯೇಟರ್ ಅದು ಭಾಳ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಫುಲ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ನೀರಿನ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆ ತುಂಬ ಆಗಿದೆ ನಾವು ಮುನ್ನುಗ್ಗಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋದೊಂದು ಅರಿವು ಮೂಡ್ತವ್ರು ನಾವು ವರ್ಕ್ಶಾಪ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ನಾವು ಹೋಗಲೇಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಅನ್ನಿಸ್ತು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಓಟ್ನವ್ರು ಬಂದಾಗ ನಾವು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಕೇಳಬೇಕು ನಾವು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಒಗ್ಗಟ್ಟಾಗಿರಬೇಕು ಇದೇ ರೀತಿ ನಾವು ಸಂಘ ಕಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಒಗ್ಗಟ್ಟಾಗಿ ಮುನ್ನುಗ್ಗಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ತಿಳುವಳಿಕೆ ಮೂಡ್ತು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ There were some glimpses of hope. Some people just said like what we wanted to hear like oh yes now we're always washing our hands. Oh yes now we're always using toilet. Oh yes and no, they, you know that they are just saying what they want us to hear. But some people also said yeah the other day a neighbor was uh, um, throwing trash on the street and I told her well maybe you shouldn't do this. So a few times we also got answers that we thought okay maybe this is really something that they changed. <laughs> So we have this strong banding and then suddenly we have to go separate ways for, for in, in three different locations for a month. So what happened last night was like when all the 27 come together again, it's like reviving again the friendship, the banding that we had in the first week. So it's like we're missing each other so much and we wanted to know really, you know, what were the experience in their different communities. This is where we evaluated our, our learnings and what could have been improved. So for us, it's, uh, it's like stepping back and looking at a uh, general picture of what could have been better if we did this or what went wrong. So for us, it's a part of our learning in this whole project. At the end, we manage to work together and to enjoy and sometimes to fight together, but everything is okay. And so it was more this kind of process and that I really appreciate. I think it was amazing, you know, to work to, with, in these communities to enter their lives. They allowed us to come in their houses. To, they shared um, uh, coffee, tea, uh, their life stories with us. Pretty moments, pretty day, uh, learning, pretty day. Like Akandre, Urjate, Tumba Kasta, Tito. Pretty Dina, observe Marta, the Kalita, the Justical Tidin. Turning point of my life, this uh, project. Really. When I was in the Philippines, I believe mostly on the scientific part. That's why I neglect the fact of culture, fact of different social aspects which can affect it. So I think this, this has changed my whole perspective on approaching public health problems, the experiences that I've acquired from the people, from the culture, from the plays, from the foreign theater shows. It's the best gift that can be given. The greatest thing here is you are able to open up really your own concepts of the world, you know, own concepts of, about intercultural learning, understanding other people's culture, understanding about how people, other the people live, and how they behave and how they work. For us, it's a most valuable learning experience for us in this whole project.